Hey guys, it's Nick, aka the one like Crisis YT, and I'm here with... Ensic, hi everybody. And, uh, today we're gonna be talking about small things that bother us. Um, so if you wanna go ahead and start off talking about some small things that probably wouldn't bother other people, but bother you. Well, I've devised a little, uh, list before this commentary, so I have some things to talk about. Now I've got, when you, this might apply to some people, but when you say, cause I do YouTube, um... When you got the cords, when you're trying to record a commentary, and they wrap around the wheels in your desk chair, it just frustrates yeah. the shit out of you because and it like tangles everything up. You might stuff up your commentary, and it's just uh oh, gets on my nose. <laughs> yeah, I used to have that problem where my cords get wrapped up, but now I have everything kind of like the only cord that's on my floor is my Xbox controller because I use a quarter controller, so that's the only cord that's on my floor. Uh, I've got. Microphone, headphones, <laughs> charges okay. for the controls. I'm going to have everything nice and, like, rubber banded up, so, you know, it's yeah, all... I should, I should probably get around to that. <laughs> yeah, it, it really helps out. Um, so, something real quick that bothers me is stupidity. Now, there's, there's a difference between ignorance and stupidity. Uh, to me, stu like, stupidity is you know about something and it's something logical, and I'm not saying something that you can really hold an opinion on, right? Like... Some people think that a scientific fact, like something that is scientifically proven, is not right. That really bothers me. Yeah. If someone is like, I know about this. I know that the sun is like however many degrees, but I don't think that. You know, it's like, um, <laughs> okay, why? And that's stupid. Why would you do that? Stupid people. Argue, argue for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> Argue for, no for the sake of arguing. And then people start talking in circles and agreeing with you, but they don't realize they're agreeing with you, and it's like, oh, come on, man. Stop. <laughs> You're making yourself look stupid now, <laughs> you know? Uh, <laughs> so what else you? You got something else? Well, I've got, uh, when you're eating a cookie, right, or any type of biscuit, and it's too big for the glass, you're trying to dip it in. And it's just like, come on. <laughs> yeah. You want to yeah. have this biscuit dipped in nice and perfect, and then uh, glass yeah, so prevents it. So, so then you have to start start altering it. So you're like, okay, well, I guess I maybe I break it in half, and you know, it's like, ah, and it's crumbs are everywhere, insane. and your mum goes off, and that's <laughs> ah, terrible. It's terrible. Um, I'm trying to think of something else off the top of my head. See, he came prepared with notes and stuff, and I was like, I don't need notes. <laughs> and then now that I'm thinking about it, you know, this is probably commentary. I need a note so on. Um, I'm trying to think of something else small that bothers me. Uh, oh, the rappers. I don't know how you guys have if you guys. What game stores do you guys have in the UK? Uh, not the UK, in Australia. Uh, we have EB Games. Okay. Um, I think they yeah. do this at EB Games. Like, the stickers that they put on the games with the prices, right? Yeah. You know, like, it'll say pre-owned, and it's, like, actually stuck on the case. And, and like, you can't get it off. <laughs> and you can't get it off. And if you do get it off, it's got the sticky stuff that's still on it. Yeah. That, that bothers happens. me so much. Like... It wrecks the look of the game sort of yes, thing. Yes, it this. does. Like... I, I like to put my games on display. Like, I have right now my games on display on my wall, right? I don't know if you've ever seen my setup, but I have this, like, floating shelf thing I where I put that. all my games. <laughs> okay? that That's awesome, and it looks really nice, but having these labels on these freaking games ruins it. Yeah. So, Or there's just, like, ten stickers of different prices and stuff yes. and the various sales that they've had. Yeah. And something I also don't like is how they'll sell games without, like, the actual original case. And I see, I never buy games like that, but people gift me games without the original case. I'm like, oh my god, what what do I do? You know, what do you do at that <laughs> point? You know, I'll, I can return it, but, you know, at the same time, it's like, it's still a working game, and I'll play it, it's just the case doesn't look good, so. Yeah, it's just the middle, just bothers you, little thing. Yeah, it just bothers you, you know, it's like, ah, it just ruins the look of everything. <laughs> I've got uh, one, when you sort of, you finally get comfortable, ready to have a good session of gaming, and then you've forgotten, hang on, need to pee. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just like getting everything set up right, and then oh, I've got to go do this, and just wrecks everything. <laughs> um, something else I thought of to do with gaming that's like a small thing that bothers me is um, this doesn't bother me anymore because how my Xbox is a little half an arm's length away from me. But uh, <laughs> before, whenever I used to like sit on my bed and play video games, and my Xbox was away from me, having to like. You get on a game and you start playing it, and then, like, your friend gets on and he wants to play a different game. Like, you know, I'd get on and start playing Halo Reach or something, and my friend would get on and want to play Minecraft 3. So, you know, I have to, like, I just stood up to change the game, and now I have to stand up again to go change the game. I know that shows laziness, but, you know, still. 
Just yeah, like, God. <laughs> the other night I was um, playing with a friend and then my laptop was at my feet and I literally could not be bothered turning around to go get it to look up something on YouTube for him. <laughs> it's just <laughs> so lazy, but, you know. Yeah. yeah. Small things, man. Small things. Yeah. <laughs> Small little things that we don't want to do because it's laziness and it's like, well, why would I do that? <laughs> <laughs> too much effort. <laughs> yeah. Well, my, my Xbox is about a meter from the couch, so I sort of just try to reach and grab the game that I want to put in. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of something else. You got something else? Yeah, I've got one. Um, right. How, like, you got all your TV and Xbox, and I'll have all them plugged into the one sort of power board thing. Yeah. It's a heater and chargers and stuff. And then when you get this big AC adapter or whatever, that takes up two spots, and it just wrecks the whole thing, and you... Oh, I think that up. might be a, I think that might be like a Australian thing. I, I don't, and the Australian? Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think I know what you're talking about because I think you have to do that. Like if you travel to like Europe or something like that, because uh, there I know European outlets are different from the outlets we have in the U.S. Yeah, so like yeah. I can't plug. Say I brought like my laptop charger and iPhone charger or something to the U.K. I couldn't plug it into their wall sockets. I would have to get an adapter to do it. So, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, we have to do that. Um, I was being sort of uh, the actual what you plug into the wall, like it takes up two spots, sort of thing. Oh, yeah, like it, I, I've seen it. Big, big. It's not yeah. common, but I've seen it. Oh, I know what you're talking about. It's like a big power supply kind of yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. And like if you plug it in the bottom one, you're okay, but if you go like in the top, it covers both the outlets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, you know it. <laughs> I got you. All right, I'm trying to think. Um, I guess this is something that's kind of YouTube related. When people ask me dumb questions, now I'm gonna have to do a disclaimer here. I'm okay with helping people out, right? Especially if it's like a, a problem that a lot it's hard to find on Google. But if you ask me what a like, and I'm okay, what a, what's the best kind of capture card? I'd be happy to help you out with that. What I have experiences with things like that. But whenever you start asking me like questions like, hey man. Where do I get fraps? Well, maybe if you Googled where do I get fraps, I guarantee you'd find it. You know, it's yeah. like, come on, these questions are pointless, and I don't yeah. need to answer them. <laughs> They're at your fingertips anyways. Why yeah. do you need to? I mean, you Google, could just type that exact question into Google instead. Yeah, of like, I've, I have, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen Let Me Google It, Let Me Google That For You, or whatever, but it's pretty much the thing where you just type in whatever you want to Google, and then it'll give you a link to where it's a... Uh, animation kind of thing and it Googles something for you and then takes you to Google um, and I've started sending that to people when they ask me dumb questions so if you guys get <laughs> mad it's probably a dumb question but nevertheless I'm happy to help you guys out and answer questions <laughs> yeah sounds good <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah well you got something else uh, this will probably apply to everyone how you I think it's called stubbing your toe or stumping your toe like yeah. kicking the corner of a table or whatever oh, and just that instant pain that just so agonizing and ridiculous. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I hate doing that, especially because it's, like, it's always unexpected, and I guess that's probably what makes it hurt so much, you know, Yeah. is the shock of it. Because, like, you know, you're walking past, like, your, your bed, or you're walking past, like, a TV stand or something, and you just hit it, and it's like, oh, God. Uh, it's just hurt. lingering pain for ages. <laughs> yeah. Damn, why does that happen? <laughs> All right, so uh, you want to go ahead and give a promo of your channel real quick? Give yourself a little shout-out. Well, if you didn't pick it up before, I'm Australian, and I just pretty much do commentaries on whatever, um, just over some gameplays, do an infected live com series I've got going, that's pretty funny, because um, I do stuff up a fair bit, <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty good. So, uh, I'm, I'm going to ask you a question real quick, how many subs do you have right now? I want these guys to know that. Eight. Eight. He has eight subs, and you guys always say, you won't pick up small commentators for this series. He has eight subscribers, guys. Eight. Okay, I pick up small commentators for this series. Um, so, yeah, go check out his channel. He's actually really good. Uh, how often do you post videos? Uh, I try to do it every day, but I yeah. sometimes have a day break if I'm I know what, I know what tired that feels or whatever. Like. Yeah, I know what that feels like. So he, he posts, we'll say, at least every other day, if not every day. So uh, go yeah. check out his channel. It's It's really good, actually, so... Yeah, um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, today's question of the day. I almost let you guys hanging on that one. Um, what is a pet peeve? What is something that bothers you that probably doesn't bother other people or is just a small little thing that bothers you? Tell me that in the comment section down below. I'm CrisisYT. And I'm Nsik. And we're out. Peace.